Corel Draw has just about the best tool I've ever seen in any program for doing bulleted lists. Now, you'll find it up under the text menu, of course, right down here, bullets. Now, it's real nice about this. Of course, you can use your bullets or not. You know, a lot of programs can do that. There's our first bullet up there. So you can use bullets or not. That's no big deal. You can change the size of the bullet. You can do baseline shift. All of that's pretty expected. What makes this really exciting in here is the choice of symbols. You can choose any symbol you want. Most bulleted lists will give you, you know, five or six symbols possibly, and you can modify and choose different symbols to do that, but it's a little bit of work to set up and put a new symbol into the existing symbol list. In here, you can use any symbol or any character for that matter out of any typeface, any font. This is the Wingdings font. And there's a whole bunch of these. Here's a Webdings font. This is a good one. So a lot of imagery inside here. There's Wingdings 2 and Wingdings 3. You have a lot of stuff. Let's just do one of these just quickly here. I'm going to increase the size of this bullet so you can see it over there. There's that bullet. I can change this to anything I want. So, you know, any, anything you want out, out of any of your lists. Let me just show you this. I'm going to go up here and just grab this black oak stand. It's a, a, a text font. Notice we have an A in there. Now, the list doesn't show you all of your fonts, but it shows you all of the fonts that have graphics in them, or what CorelDRAW considers symbols. This one has a whole bunch of the same squares. But here we go, a lot of symbols up in here that I could use as bullets. There's a Charlemagne standard. Let's see what's in here, if anything. There's a few symbols in here that could be used or any, any text I wanted to use. This one's got a whole bunch of, there's a few symbols in there. Looks like similar stuff to the uh, Wingdings fonts. So lots and lots of different fonts and bullets you can choose right from that list. Just go back to the Webdings. This is a standard one. And I'll just choose something out of this Webdings font. Maybe I'll do a picture of Earth right there. There we go. And I'll bring it down a little bit in size. And I'll use this one. There we go. So you can use any font you want, and the bullets will act just like any standard bullet. So it's a very fascinating, very useful tool. And again, it's the best tool I've ever seen for allowing you a huge assortment of images to use or bullets to use in your bullet to list. Anything you really want to use that is image related, and CorelDRAW will go through all of your fonts and find those and allow you to use those right in a bulleted list. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.